Bobby! It's pab time! Bobby? Yo, Mr. C! Bobby Cassidy. Lived here the past six months or so. Nobody's supposed to live here. Building zone commercial. Man who makes the rules is somewhere in the south of France. Who else don't you know about? Oil painter up on seven. Guy strokes him like Picasso. Check it out, huh? Super's no help. No sign of forced entry. It was probably not a robbery. The shooter left 200 and change in the wallet, which this poor sap withdrew from an ATM machine in the Bronx. Grand concourse savings yesterday about 2 o'clock. I usually drink with friends. Yeah, I've always said drinking alone is underrated. Okay, we got 68 TVs, 96 VCRs, 37 microwaves, and a handful of Walkmans. Maybe Cassidy was dealing stolen goods. I doubt it. Got a bunch of shipping orders. Looks like he was paying full price. Hey, detective. You gotta see this. The stiff is sporting a ghetto. Looks like my grandmother's. Yeah, did you see what's inside? Oh, yeah. Old undercover trick. What do you mean? This guy was on the job? I better call Van Buren. Bad time to kill a cop. Is it good time? No. Only now the state gets to fry his ass. Real name's Bobby Croft. Undercover seven years. Gives him a lot of enemies. Do we know who he was working? Intelligence division stingy with details, but like everybody else, real generous with attitude. You get a statement from the other resident? Yeah, he came home around midnight from a T.S. Elliott reading, heard nothing, saw nothing. So assuming the gun made noise, Croft was shot before then. There's got to be some surveillance we can look at. You're used to working on an OCCB budget. Croft's lucky if he's reimbursed for pencils. The apartment's not so broke, it can't afford backup. On the books, I was Bobby's backup. On the street, he didn't want to know from me. Afraid he'd blow his cover. Once he became Bobby Cassidy, the rest of his life all but disappeared. Well, that's the drill for undercover. Yeah, also the way to get yourself killed. Do you have any family? Girlfriend, but uh, he didn't give her much time. As hard as he worked, wasn't much to spare. You didn't have much time for filing status reports, either. Hey, Bobby kept me up to speed by phone. He had Ted Quinlan in his crosshairs. Wise guy dealing smack out of Hell's Kitchen. Poses as some kind of antique importer. Drugs? I thought Croft's front was dealing swag. Yeah, part of the scam. He needed to blend. Wait a minute. It says here Croft requisitioned $125,000. Yeah, that was going to be the closer on Quinlan. But uh, we changed the location of the buy, and we lost him. And you didn't think to call Croft or go to his apartment? Well, we figured it was just Bobby being Bobby. You know, he'd show in the morning. You found the money, right? The heroin? I knew Bobby Croft. He used to work homicide out of the free seven. His wife jumped him. He volunteered for undercover. Sometimes I really hate this job. Yeah, not one of my better days either. Your shooter emptied his revolver from about three feet. He hit all six? Yeah. But we're not talking about Lee Harvey Oswald. Areas of entry range from Croft's shoulders to his knees. Angles of entry indicate he kept shooting after Croft went down. So the shooter panicked, or he wanted to make sure. One more thing. Bobby had traces of semen and vaginal discharge in his undershorts. Thought he didn't have time for his girlfriend. Catch this guy, will you? 